Hello people, this is the SM Tic Tac. It's a do-it-yourself style Eurora clock model. It works with the Arduino microcontroller and it's really simple and cheap to build it. And in this video we are going to try to explain a step for a step how we can build this module at home ourselves. So, the functionality is really simple. We have two knobs here. The first one is to control the tempo. We can have a tempo between 80 and 240 BPMs. If we want more or less BPMs, we can change easily the Arduino code a little bit so we can get the tempo what we want. So, like we can see, if we turn the knob to the left, the output signal tempo goes down and if we turn it to the right, the output goes up. The second knob is to control the duty cycle of the output signal. When the knob is in the middle, the duty cycle is 50%. That means the signal is going to be the half of the time in a high position and half of the time in a low position. If we turn to the left, the duty cycle goes down until we can get the duty cycle of 1%. And if we turn the knob to the right, the duty cycle goes up until we have the duty cycle of 90%. We also have a small button here. It's the tap tempo, so we can enter the tempo manually with our finger. And finally we have here the four outputs. The first one is the normal output, so we get one pulse per cycle. In the second one we have the half. In the third one we have the quarters. And here the eight. So, let's start to build it. This is the Arduino Nano microcontroller. It's a really cheap microcontroller. It costs something between three or four euro. It uses the 80 mega 328p chip and it has many inputs and outputs so we can program it and do different stuff. We also can power it using a voltage between 5 and 20 volt. That means that we can directly power it using the Eurorack power supply. The first thing that we are going to do is upload the code to the Arduino. We are going to need the mini USB cable and a computer. Let's go. We need to install the Arduino software. We go to the Arduino official page and we are going to find here download the Arduino software IDE. We download the software and we install. I have already installed so we open the software. We need to configure some stuff before uploading our code. For example, we go to tools and in board it must be here the Arduino Nano option. In the processor we need to click in 80 mega, 3 to 8p and we also need to know which port we are using with the Arduino. We, to know the port we go to device manager and in device manager, in this part, ports come. We can see here, for example, in my case, the Arduino Nano is using the CH340 USB chip. So it appears here like COM6. It also is possible to appear something like Arduino Nano or another stuff. We know that it's a COM6. So we go to tools and port COM6. Okay. Now we need to copy the library. Okay. I'm going to leave this folder to download in the description of the video. And in this folder we have the library for the simple timer. We need to copy this uh, library in a specific folder to be possible to use the timer in the Arduino. 
we copy the timer uh, the folder and then we go to the Arduino here open file location here we go to liberalist and we paste here the folder simple timer okay the program is actually configured so we are going to now we are going to copy and paste the code we copy everything we go to the software paste and here up here upload compiling a sketch unloading and double uploading so that means the code is actually in the Arduino and now we are going to start to build the hardware we are going to use this small board to make all the connections and the first thing that we need to do is to solder properly the two potentiometers in this position like that We are going to put a lot of solder because we want to make it really stable and hard. We are going to put the solder on both sides. solder like that <coughs> when we make the two holes in the aluminium panel we are going to put the potentiometer in this position and the board is going to hold itself now we are going to solder the ether socket for the Arduino To bring the power from the Eurorack power board to the module, we are going to use this type of cable and we are going to solder these pins here to attach the cable to the board. like that and like that like that it's going to possible to disconnect and connect the cable when we want 
We are going to cut also this part of the board because we are not going to use it and like that we are going to have more space. For the panel we are going to use this 2mm thick aluminium panel. I already have made the holes in the panel and painted it. Now we are going to follow the connection diagram and we are going to make all the connection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solder the output 1K resistor directly in the output jacks and also in the legs and then we are going to bring like that all the cables from the connection board to the aluminium panel as we can see I solder it directly all the 1k resistor in the jack socket and also in the LED I also soldered together all the grounds with using a black cable and finally I connected the output resistor of the jack socket with the corresponding LED resistor. I also soldered all the connections on the board and now we need to connect together the panel and the connection board. I have made already all the connections now let's try if it's working power cable hmm. seems to be working the tempo slow faster it's working the duty cycle it's working and finally the tap tempo also is working so everything is working fine uh, in the next week we are going to make more euro rack modules like a sequencer and another stuff so if you are interested, subscribe. Bye, see you.